Another story by Lietzu. Mr. Yin of Chu ran a huge estate. The underlings who hurried to serve him never rested from dawn to dusk. There was an old servant with no more strength in his muscles, whom he drove all the harder. By the day, the servant went to work groaning. At night, he slept soundly, dulled by fatigue. Losing consciousness every evening, he dreamt that he was lord of the state, enthroned above the people, with all affairs of state under his control. He gave himself up, whatever pleased him, excursions and banquets, palaces and spectacles, his joy was incomparable. Waking, he was a servant again. When someone condoled him with having to work so hard, the servant said, Man's term of life is a hundred years, divided between day and night. By day I am a bondman, and my life is bitter indeed, but at night I become a prince, and my joy is incomparable. Why should I complain? Mr. Yin's mind was vexed by worldly affairs, his thoughts occupied with the family inheritance, which exhausted him body and mind, and at night he too fell asleep, dull by fatigue. And every evening he dreamt that he was a slave, hurried about by every inconceivable task, scolded and beaten for every imaginable fault. He muttered and groaned in his sleep, and there was no relief until dawn. Distressed by this, Mr. Yin consulted a friend who told him, with rank high enough to distinguish you and more property than you need, you are too far above other men. Dreaming at night that you are a slave, reverting from ease to toil, is fortune writing itself. Can you reasonably expect to have it both ways, dreaming as well as awake? After hearing his friend's advice, Mr. Yin eased his demands on the servants and reduced the responsibilities which worried him. His ailment took a turn for the better.